Now this is a story called uh, Jane Smiley Wins Pulitzer. Um, I once saw somebody win a Pulitzer, and it was Jane Smiley. Uh, I, I real early '90s, maybe 1991, something like that. And I had a job at uh, Iowa State University, and th there were quite a few creative writers there. I, I shared an office uh, with a with a, a creative writer, and uh, um, there were some poets, and I think some essayists and short story writers. And Jane Smiley. Uh, was a novelist, and she was uh, their star. She was the star, I thought, of, of the creative writers that, that were there at Iowa State, and that was mainly because uh, she had written a bestseller. Um, everybody else was writing little things like, you know, essays and poems and short stories, and she was writing novels, these big novels. And, uh, and they were selling really well, you know, way better than anybody else that they had there. And, and I was a writer too, but, you know, I was just like, you know, hardly ever getting published, and I was just nobody compared to any of them, you know, but especially compared to Jane, Jane Smiley, so, and she was best friends uh, with my office mate, uh, so she'd pop in, uh, uh, and I'd see her, you know, but uh, I'd, I'd never, I mean, we were not friends or anything, she just, the only reason she would pop in is because she'd want to see my, see my office mate, but, and if it was nobody but me there, she'd just, you know, do you know where she is? No, I don't. Don't know where she was. You know, really, poof, off she would go. She was uh, kind of physically striking. Now, I wouldn't really call her beautiful, but she was really tall and lean, and, you know, uh, energetic, uh, and uh, but kind of quiet. Uh, uh, she was definitely not a braggart or pompous or any anything remotely like that. And so my whole relationship with her was basically, you know, she pops in and says hi, and oh, my friend's not here, and off she goes. Well, one day. Um, I'm down the hall. It's, I mean, it's a whole corridor full of offices where professors live, or you know where we work. And uh, a guy who's got a computer. It's it's uh, so early in the 1990s that people are just starting to have computers in their offices. And he's uh, he's on the internet, and I, I don't know anything about the internet. And he's showing me. He's got a like a pen pal in Israel, and he's getting messages from this guy. And this guy's telling you know Israel is a mess, and they're fighting with the Palestinians, and the Palestinians are shooting in missiles, and Israelis are bulldozing villages. And I I I mean I kind of know about this stuff from television and the news. Newspapers, but it's a, it's kind of a, it gives it a real personal flavor and and real brand new for me. I mean, I, I had no idea you could get messages from people clear around the world uh, through your computer and and all of a sudden there's screams. Oh my God, they're loud screams and we're going whoa, what the hell? And I pop out into the corridor and all doors are opening up all along the corridor and people professors are coming out and screams, loud screams and I I look down the hallway and and there. Where my office is, there's a cluster of screaming people. And I think, oh my God, you know, and I, I run down there. By the time I got there, there's a whole mob of people there in the in the doorway of my of my office. And the reason they're all screaming is because uh, the, one of the main editors of the Des Moines Register, which was you know the big state paper if you live in Iowa, has uh, arrived uh, with the headline, you know, and and it says, uh, you know, and he held it up and it said, uh, Jane Smiley wins Pulitzer. And, uh, you know, Jane Jane has uh, taken it and she's taken it into my office and she showed it to my to my uh, roommate, my office mate. And my office mate just screams. Uh, I, I get the idea Jane Smiley is not the kind of person who screams, but my office mate is definitely the kind of person who screams. And she's, ah, you know, and so people come and well, it happens. Every time new people come, Jane Smiley just holds up the newspaper so she doesn't really have to say anything. And they see that headline and then they scream and everybody's uh, screaming. And the, the only thing bad about it for me is I have to go teach a class. It's time for me to go teach a class. And I all my books, all my stuff are there on my desk. And I cannot get to them because there's like 20 screaming people between me, me and my books. So I finally did get to my class 15 minutes late. I remember I was, I was, I was amazed that my students were, were uh, still there. Jane Smiley wins Pulitzer. Uh, the university threw a lot of money at her. Uh, they made her a chaired professor, um, but she gave her you know big raise. Uh, but she soon left anyway. Uh, she moved to California, where I understand she raises uh, expensive racehorses. It's good to win a Pulitzer.